Hey guys, welcome to a new tutorial. Today we're going to be using easel to um, start a carve on the carvey. This is going to be a basic tutorial of how to use the carvey. The thing that we're going to be creating is we're going to be creating this sign. It's a very simple thing. It's just showing how to make a text and a shape and a, an icon or a photo. If you want to grab your material, this is um, the two color you know, engraving plastic. Get your calibers that came with your carvey. Switch them to inches. You're going to want to go ahead and um, measure the thickness of your material, and that's going to be the base for your design. You're going to want to go to, uh, let me switch over, want to go to easel.inventables.com, start a new project, make an account if you haven't, go to machine, hit Carvey, put in the material dimensions, My, I, mine is 11.6 uh, by 8, then you go ahead and you put how thick your material is, mine is uh, 0 0.25 inches thick. So these are your basic tools over here. First thing we're going to go ahead and do is we're going to go ahead and get one of our uh, mushrooms here. To size it up, just grab the square and drag. You can go ahead and add your uh, text. If you hit text, you get all these different fonts. And then to make things like shapes, you, here are your basic shapes, plus this tool that you can go ahead and you can make your own custom shape if you want that. Uh, I'm just going to go ahead and make a square. Then here you have outline. Then you have on path, outside, and inside. So if you're trying to create a um, accurate shape, you can actually go ahead and if you want it to be, if you want the actual shape to be accurate, you hit outside. If you want the hole that it makes to be accurate, so like the, um, so if you want the larger piece to be accurate, you go ahead inside. Depends on where you want the bit to be. We're gonna go on path because it doesn't really matter too much. And then this line you want it to go all the way through, so that's what this slider is for. So the darker it is, the more it's going to go through the material. I want it to go all the way through. And you can see these yellow, or uh, these gray lines right here, they turn yellow when you click the object. That's actually where it will not cut through, so there will be some tabs to keep it in place. So that's just how to create your own basic design in, car in um, easel. It's very simple for material. We're going to go ahead to the two color. And now you have your um, symbol and your font and all that. Don't worry too much about this error. If, if it really bothers you, you can scale it up. It just means that our bit isn't large enough for this design. And if you see any red pop up, that's where it's um, not big enough. So if I go ahead and do like that, you'll see that that turns red. That's where the bit isn't actually large enough to cut through this design hit bit size to select which bit you have. I have the 1 16th fishtail. In cut settings, you can actually change your feed rate, your plunge rate, and your depth. I always recommend slowing this down, especially when using a harder material. It is supposed to change every select a new material, but I always recommend slowing it down even more than whatever the recommended settings are. You can go ahead and hit simulate, and it will tell you how long it will take. About 25 minutes. You know, and make sure you don't have your design go through this red. That's where the um, smart clamp is. I'll show you where the smart clamp is in a second inside the machine. And if you have any cutouts, make sure that this doesn't go outside of that cutout. So I know that I have a, a triangle on the piece of plastic that I'm going to be using. I know I actually have a triangle beyond the 7-inch line. Go ahead and hit carve. And the first time that you hit carve, it'll actually um, ask you to install a driver. So I think on this computer, yep. It'll say install the easel driver. So we're going to go over to the Mac where the Carvey is actually connected, and I'll uh, show you how to go from there. Okay, so before we go over to the um, screen capture on the Mac, this is the Carvey right here. So if we go ahead and close this, this is the Carvey by Inventables, and the power switch is on the back. Sorry about the crappy image and video quality, this is on my smartphone. 
and you'll see this blue light will turn on and the interior lights will turn on and you can see there's also a lot of sawdust and all that because we've been using it a lot. All right, so to give you a tour of the inside of this machine, this is the bit that it's using to drill. Uh, this is the um, motor. It goes ahead and it spins the bit, obviously. Here's the bed. Now this wood piece right here is, um, is a waste material, so don't be afraid to kind of get into it every once in a while. You know, it moves back and forth. This is the smart clamp that we mentioned before. So right on here is this little uh, metal piece. And this bit, when it starts to calibrate, will go and um, this will go all the way back. Then this is going to go uh, across. Go ahead and touch that bit. And when it does that, it goes and makes contact between this bit and uh, the connection on this wire. And that's how it can zero itself, unlike a 3D printer. So this is actually a stop button. So if you need to suddenly pause your, um, your carving. Then we're gonna go ahead and load in some material. Here is that um, good old engraving plastic. Takes up almost the whole bed. And don't be afraid to move it like I'm doing right now. And these red clamps are um, the are really large. So I'm gonna, we're going to be switching them out with the blue or the green rather. So if we go over here, you can see that there's different sizes. There's blue, there's red, and there's green. We're going to be using green because we're using some really thin material. So I'm going to go ahead and load the material up. Then I'll show you um, what it's supposed to look like. The first thing that you're going to want to do is completely remove the clamp. You should line the material up to the two um, ridges that are sticking out. Next, you want to put the smart clamp atop the material that you are that you are um, trying to carve out of. Screw on the, whatever knobs you choose to use, depending on the thickness of your material. Then go ahead and put on the small uh, aluminum pyramid things, and line up the clamps just like that. And make sure to tighten all these to just you know finger tightness. No need to use a Allen wrench or a drill or anything like that. These holes can be used to um, mount your clamps. I'm going to mount my clamps like this. You can do it any way that you would like. This is just one way of doing it. They should just hold down the material very uh, stiffly. To put a new bit inside of your carvey, you're gonna go ahead and take both of your um, wrenches. Make sure that the smaller one's on the top and the larger one is on the bottom. Go ahead and give it one big loosen, then, lo then undo it by hand. And go ahead and pull the bit out. Next thing you wanna do is gonna go ahead and select which bit that you're going to be using during your carve. Put it inside of your carvey. Tighten it by hand. Then finish it off with the wrenches. It should be reasonably uh, tight, but not too tight. Position your material, secure the clamp, secure the side clamps, make sure you have the right bit. Start carving. Thank you.
All right, so the part is finished. I got all this dust to take care of. Here you can see that score that it created with those um, four markings that I showed you previously. I'm going to go ahead and break this out. Alright, so I just took off the protected plastic on one side and um, just brushed it off. And look, I have to say it looks very sharp and clean. Very nice. So if you wanted to put mounting holes, you could have done that in the design, but that works. So that's just how to create a very basic part in um, an easel with the uh, Carvey. Hope you guys enjoyed this video and see you in the next one.